Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're looking for a great streaming device on a budget or if you're looking for an additional Android box for another room in your home, then you are going to want to check out what I have to show you today. If you also want something that's powerful that won't break the bank, then in this video, courtesy of Xgoody, I will be reviewing just that an Android TV box that really does pack in a punch on a budget. This Android TV box has a really cool design and is running Android 10 with an impressive 4GB of RAM and a quad-core processor. And all of this at under $50. So let's go and take a look. This is the Xgoody T95 Smart TV Box. This is one of the cheapest Android boxes that I've reviewed and for the price tag of $45.99, it's also one of the most impressive and comes packed with some really nice features. With a quad-core Cortex A53 running at 1.5 gigahertz, four gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of ROM, this will put up a good fight against the Fire Stick and some more expensive Android streaming devices on the market. Powered by Android 10 and with dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, which will give you more speed and range, two USB ports, a micro SD slot, and boasting up to 6K HDR performance, this little box has quite a lot to offer. In comparison, the latest Fire Sticks from Amazon have a slightly faster processor, however they have significantly less RAM with just 1GB. They also run on Fire OS, which is a version of Android that has been optimised by Amazon for use on their devices and is based on Android 9, so it will be interesting to compare later on in benchmarking tests. For a full list of specifications for the Xgoody T95 Smart TV box, check out xgoody.com. You can find a link to this website in the description below this video. So let's get this unboxed and take a closer look. The Xgoody T95 Smart TV box comes in a branded T95 box that's black with some gold writing. Inside the box itself, you have the T95 XBD box itself and then underneath you have the power supply, remote control, HDMI lead and a user manual. The T95 box itself is a nice size with a colourful design on top and on the front there's an LED screen which will tell you the time and some other information. On the back, you have your AV out, WAN port, HDMI port, and power in. Round to the side, you have two USB 2.0 ports for connecting a mouse, keyboard, or storage, and a TF slot or micro SD slot for adding additional storage. On the bottom of the box, you've got ventilation to help keep the box cool. The remote isn't the prettiest, but it has all the functions and buttons you would expect, with a few extra shortcut buttons and a built-in mouse, but there are no voice controls. The size isn't too big, but it is a little bit on the noisy side when clicking the buttons. And it is infrared, so you do need to point the remote directly at the box. And the infrared did interfere with some of my other devices nearby, but for what the box offers, the price, and the ability to add a Bluetooth remote or keyboard or plugging in a keyboard or mouse through the USB ports, I think I could live with it. So that's the specs, what you get inside of the box and what it looks like. Let's now plug it in and power it up. Once you're powered up, set up and connected to the internet, you will be at the home screen that looks like this. It has a nice basic layout free of any clutter and free of any ads or promotional content. If you've used Android boxes before, they are all very similar with some small variations between makes and models. On the left, you have icons for the home screen and access to your apps and the settings. 
In the middle of your screen, there are larger icons for Google Play and YouTube, and you can also add any of your apps to the home screen for quick access. Because it's an Android, you can log into Google Play and install apps from there, and this is a great advantage over Fire TV devices. However, it's running a version of Android that is based on touchscreen, so it's the same operating system used for mobile phones and tablets. It's not optimized for use on TVs, where you can't touch the screen and you have to use a remote instead. This can make navigating some applications impossible without a separate connected mouse or using the built-in mouse in the remote control. Going into the settings, you have all of your usual options and preferences that come with Android, such as developer options, so you can sideload apps and storage settings. There's also a handy cleanup tool and task killer that shuts all background apps and clears memory. In benchmarking tests using Geekbench 5, I have chosen to compare the performance of the processor in the T95 to the Buzz TV VidStick and the Amazon Fire Stick Lite, as they are both the budget choices for streaming devices in the Buzz TV and Amazon ranges. Benchmarking measures performance with a points system, with more points meaning better performance. You can see that the XGoody T95 was beaten overall by the VidStick, but the T95 beats the Fire Stick Lite in multi-core processing. However, you will pay $17 more for the VidStick and $23 less for the Fire Stick Lite. But remember that performance shouldn't be the only point to take into consideration when looking to buy a new device. Already we've talked about the size, storage and connectivity and all of these points should also be taken into consideration. I do have more hardware reviews that you can check out by taking a look at my playlist showing above me now or in the description down below which also features a full review of the VidStick and the FireStick Lite. The T95 performed well in speed tests connected to my 5GHz Wi-Fi and connecting via Ethernet. I had no issues getting good speeds from my ISP, however the T95 WAN port is limited to 100 megabits per second, so if you have really fast internet, you should consider connecting via the 5 gigahertz range to maximize performance. Everything felt quick and responsive from navigating your way around to installing and opening apps, to connecting a Bluetooth controller, playing games and streaming. The T95 delivered an Android experience that you would expect from a low budget box. As with most other Android boxes that are powered by Android, Netflix and Prime Video will not play in HD quality. However, I don't think that's a major reason not to buy the T95 as most TVs these days are smart and come with Netflix or Prime Video apps pre-installed. So that brings us to the price. The XGoody T95 Smart TV box has four different purchasing options and choices for different sizes of RAM and ROM and ships worldwide for free. The T95 that I reviewed today comes with 4GB of RAM and 32GB of memory and costs $45.99. And overall, I was not only surprised but really impressed with its performance for an Android box that is under $50. If you're still watching, as a thank you for sticking with me to the end, you get an opportunity to enter a secret giveaway with your chance to win this box. All you have to do to enter is type XGoody in the comments down below. I'll pick a winning name at random during my live chat session on Wednesday the 16th of June 2021. As always, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases.